Hello, welcome to the tutorial of the Elementi 2016 software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the calendar widgets that are in the Elementi software. In this particular tutorial video, I'm going to use Google Calendar, but if you have Outlook or any other calendar software, you can use an ICS file that's saved from that uh, software and put it somewhere either in your project or on a web server. So I'm going to grab one of these widgets that I'd like to use. So let's do the textbar.svg fit the screen and then I'm going to configure this widget so first we're going to go to the data and my channel will be Google Calendar if you're using Google Calendar for the first time in Elementi you will have to register your Google account within cockpit our monitoring service it'll give you the instructions to do it on screen you can click a link and it'll take you to your cockpit account or let you create one if you don't have one already so this is my Google account. Next, it's gonna have you choose a calendar that you want. I'm gonna do the demo calendar. You can set a max count. The refresh time is the amount of time that this will go out and look for an update. So let's set it to 30 minutes. And then the starts and ends, this is the filter of time that it will uh, look for. So any scheduled event that doesn't start in this range of time will not be shown. So if I only wanna show today's events, I could do relative on both and set both to today and that would only show today's events if i only want to show today's events that haven't occurred i could set the relative to now and you can do any amount of time that you want here so let's just do all of today's events and then hit test to make sure i'm getting all the data that i'd like so i've got three let's open up my google calendar here so i've got three here sales meeting weekly training and a check-in uh, let's see what we have over here. Sales meeting, weekly training, and a check-in. Okay, good. So I'll close that out and then hit OK. And then play my project. Next is the text template. You can adjust this if you'd like. These have some specific formatting. Um, this will show a long date for spell out the entire month. You can change these from short, medium, and long. Uh, you can also change this from date to time as well. Uh, so this particular formatting is how you can format the date in an appropriate way. Uh, we'll have a link to all the different methods that you can use to format the date in the description below. So that's how you can use calendar widgets in Elementi 2016. Uh, thanks for watching.